Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am back for our daily uploads. Today we are on Torque Drift with that good feel game with a new update. If you can't tell by the new content on the bottom as well as probably because you've been playing this before this, you know, I'm bringing you guys this video. We do have the JZX100, Ebazoo West. We can now sell cars and stuff like that. So today we are going to build that JZX and uh, have a little fun with it. Torque Drift has hooked me up with some money. So uh, we're going to go buy some parts, get some stuff going on this car and... Uh, see what we can do we'll take a look at the part stop parts shop first so we do have a bunch of those then we have aftermarket suspension turbo exhaust we i wish we could get a better angle kit but so we do have two sponsorship crates that we did unlock so we're going to open these two sponsorship crates for the jzx and uh start this jzx build see what we get what can we get with this we got a bunch more money to spend we have three hundred thousand plus a lot of torque bucks in there so final crate opening we just got tires so unfortunately nothing good came out of that so we're gonna start actually just buying parts for this car we have to buy that of course we can put the import angle kit on because of the fact of we have uh, our sponsorship still in there so we're gonna buy all these we're not worried about that we are gonna buy a clutch we're gonna buy an intake we're gonna buy the uh, Mishimoto. So we are gonna buy this diff and uh, these import suspension. I don't think we have anything higher suspension wise. No, we don't. So we are going to uh, instant buy that diff, instant buy that suspension, and then we are gonna go with the AEM intake, instant buy that. I don't think we're gonna go to the pro intake yet. We're gonna get the instant thing. We could go with the pro intake. So we got a bunch of parts, so now Let's see what car parts do we need to install. We do have that. We're going to have to add the clutch because we don't have an aftermarket clutch. An intake. Which one gives us more power? 335 or the one that I bought? 338. There we go. Install that. So all the other parts we're not worried about because... Oh, engine's higher already. Oh, boy. Because of the fact that we have um, higher... Uh, parts on there now so we'll leave the tuning of the clutch uh ecm we're gonna leave that all right now we're gonna see how it rides like this all right exhaust we're good so now we're gonna go oh we didn't buy any wheels what are we doing we also didn't look if there's body kits so is there body kits for the nope no body kits all right so we're gonna go look into getting some wheels which we have to buy some of those wheels to bump ourselves up. I like those golds. I like those. Are we going to want to go into any of these pro level? I'm debating between these ones or these ones. I think I think we're going to go with the five spokes. We're going to put those on. We're going to instant buy those. So those go right on the car. Um, I don't think we're going to do any accessory neons or anything like that right now. So let's go back and tune this and get our suspension and everything set up. We are going to go with the aftermarket angle kit and we're going to go there. We'll probably do six and a half degrees of camber in the front if we can, which we will. And then we got to bury this car. The goal is to get this thing low. So we are going to drop that as far as we can. We're going to leave it at a 13 and then we're going to go and uh, do the back. We're also going to put the angle kit on there. And then we have to lower this even more. Make this a little bit softer. I'm not sure if I want to go up and profile of tires or anything yet. So I think this is how we're going to let it sit for right now. And uh, we're going to go full send with this, how it sits, and see what we can get into. So a couple other changes that they made. Um, some people may not even have noticed. Other than we can do live tuning and stuff like that. Okay, I don't want to worry about these parts. Make sure those didn't get installed. No, we're good. All right. So they did actually change the livery on Kelsey Rollins' car to her new Voodoo Rides paint that she's rocking this year. So it's pretty sweet that they updated the livery for Kelsey Rollins' car. Uh, maybe we'll have the ability soon to switch between pro car liveries depending on which one they want people want to run. And then they did change our menu platform. It looks like we only have the Yard Jump, Nebuzu School, to run for today so 
we're gonna go to Ebizu and we're gonna do the needle in our JZX and see how it runs. We are overpowering our engine. We probably could have bought a new engine, but I wanted to put as much power as we could into the factory engine, which is like 407 horsepower right now. So we may have to bump the engine up to a new engine, but this big girl is gonna get sideways, hopefully. So let's see what we can do. We're just gonna start in second. Tire spin, shifting the third. Kick it in third. This thing is a massive, massive car, but it's definitely still getting sideways. I do love these big body drift cars, so you know this car is going to get a full, full build like all my other cars on it. And it's just a slow, big drift. Drift in a boat here on tour drift, and it's a lot of fun. I got to remember how wide the back bumper is. There we go. And as I say that, I tanked the wall at the end of that run. So if you guys are playing with the JZX, let me know what you guys think about it. Are you guys having fun with it? Uh, I know I'm going to be having a lot of fun building this car. And he decided to just. So I guess we'll take that win. And uh, I'm very surprised that we did. So we're going to try and give this another go. So I've been seeing a lot of people using the JZX. A lot of people having fun with it. So it's definitely a cool car to be in here now. Oh, we got another JZX. 470 versus 404. All right. With Battle of the Big Boys. Let's go. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I hope you guys uh, have had a good week. I know uh, I was laxing on the uh, uploads, but that's with everything going on and stuff like that. But we are back here for the daily uploads. I messed up in the future. Back here on the daily uploads, Torque Drip, Horizon, Lego Update, Forza Motorsport 7, all the good stuff is coming to you guys. Some set of Corsa content as well, and some maybe some racing content is all going to be coming to you guys. So, ooh, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Ooh, that was a nice wall ride. Tap that subscribe, hit that bell notification. I would appreciate the support. Notification Gangs is strong now recently, and uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us. If we didn't screw up, our initiation we probably would have been better off so I see he's rocking the same wheels as me too so it's gonna be an uphill battle to try and uh, take the win but we're just gonna go drift missile status banging doors throwing tandems with the jzx right now feathering on throttle this thing slides so nice with the big weight and uh definitely having a lot of fun with this car and this car is gonna get the full vip upgrade treatment for sure i don't think we did enough on the chase to take that win but we shall see i don't think we did we did not do enough to take that win that was a very even battle so i think take a little quick uh quick screenshot right there well that's nice screenshot that and then we're going to continue back and uh, he doesn't want to go against me again so we're going to try and find another competitor definitely having a lot of fun with this glad to be back here on the daily grind with uploads for you guys and uh we got another jzx always rocking these jzx's right now looking like a, a stock jzx battles for today so gonna definitely uh try and get our initiation better not what I wanted to do or jump all the way over. I didn't get any initiation points there. I need to initiate sooner and not uh not cut the grass there. So used to my higher power cars getting back to little low power cars here in Japan. But a lot of these cars, the biggest car to drift over there, they don't run much power, so we're kinda keeping true to the culture. It looks like we are going to have a very big battle to be had in that chase. And as you can see, we can now paint front and rear wheels different colors. Even if you have the same wheels now, that was another thing they added in. I feel like I should have chased this soon. And uh, we are definitely not going to take the win on this because of the lack of good initiation in our first run. This car is going to continue to get built, some more build episodes on this car, updates and everything, because this car is going to go full, full like FG spec, full probably pro or custom level car, because big girl, big body, let's go. 
And I don't, like I said, I don't think we got enough to win that. So we're going to try and redo that. He's going to give us a second chance. And we might take this to Cali Banks just to see how how this thing handles the banks. Shift to the third. Initiate sooner. We still didn't get initiation. So I got to figure out how to initiate here because those are uh, definitely killing me when you don't get that extra clean initiation points. Or you don't get those because you're running so slow on the track. Oh, the grass is not good. That was not a good run. So I think we are probably going to head over to the Cali Banks. See how this thing runs the bank. See if it's able to actually uh, do the bank. Yep, that dude man, that man got me. So we are going to forfeit that round and go check out Cali Banks before we end this episode off. Because, uh, well... I want to see how it handles the banks because all cars are tested on the banks for me. And there it is, Cali Banks. And we will uh, run the other Ebazoo track to end this episode off because, well, it's the new track, so we are going to run it. For one second, I feel like this car is going to definitely have some interesting running on the bank. Shade it in. Dragging bumper is not how I wanted to drag that, but we're okay. Look at as a power lock and handbrake up. There we go. Oof. Right on the wall. Seems to be handling quite well here on the bank with the power that it's running. It goes to show you don't need stupid amounts of power in order to run this game. So not the best run, but pretty good run for low power. So now let's go run the new Ebazu track and uh, have a little fun with that because I've been tweaking around on that track in my other cars and it's it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna go to, where are you? Ebzu West. And we're just gonna do the full track and we're gonna just uh, skirt around for a little bit to end this episode off. We're gonna do Ebzu West on free. In the JZX, and break on. So this is definitely a fun track and uh, there's a lot of JZXs on this track so it was Kind of cool how they brought the JZX out in this track from Formula Drift, Japan. And uh, it's also a track that's very big in the uh, basically YouTube drift scene with people running drift trains and stuff, especially in the JZXs. And Adam LD did crash in that. So this track, a lot of fun. We're just going to rip it back and forth. And uh, oh, oh, please go off. Off track, off track, get back on, oh, it's gonna reset me. See, I'm totally off track, but like I said, we gotta do some more fine tuning to this car. It is a lot of fun, but it's definitely some work. It's super bouncy right now, so we're gonna have to do some tweaking the suspension and stuff like that. And get some more parts on this car and probably upgrade the engine. Not sure which engine I wanna run. So if you guys are running the Jay-Z's, let me know what engine you guys are running and uh, Kind of power you like to have in your uh, 2J, <laughs> your uh, JZX. You know, I said 1J. So your JZX 100. Like, what is your favorite power to have the car? Your favorite power to have in the car right now? What do you have? And uh, are you going to be building a full-on drift old missile drift king car with it? And uh, trying to uh, take the big bodies to some wins in tournaments and stuff like that because that will be uh, definitely a fun time. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit and I will see you guys on the track and on the next one. It's a very long handbrake grab. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm good there, huh? Oh, it will. So, definitely uh, some... Uh, Cool open world drifting to do. We can come down the chute. Oh, freestyle it. So, once again, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.